Smart space essentially means that the area of which you're in is almost contextually aware of what's inside it. So it knows there are people there, it might know there are objects there, and based on the amount of people or the types of objects, that space will act differently. Our main driver is essentially trying to listen to all types of radio bands and other type of identifiers that are coming from people and objects. So that can include cellular signals, Wi-Fi signals, Bluetooth signals, uh, camera, IR signals, a variety of those things. In the real world, for marketing agencies, they had no real way to figure out exactly how many people are walking by these billboards, how much time is people being spent inside an experiential activation, and that's what we help them do. One of our big drivers is portability. Our sensor can run on battery power up to 10 hours and don't require any type of mounting or wall outlets. OCE helped in that two ways. So our most recent one was the OCE Smart Start Fund. So that was a great help and actually to be able to bring our new sensor, so sensor 2.0, uh, to life. And then our very first uh, assistance through OCE was for the Entrepreneurship Fellowship. And that actually was able to get our first iteration out the door. We want to actually be able to become the de facto standard for experiential marketing measurement, and that's our number one objective. It was literally that, that cliche word of pivot that really helped us find our niche. And since we've done that, we've been able to accelerate beyond what we would ever imagine. My name is Nathaniel Bagnell. I represent a company called Physicalytics, and we make smart spaces in Ontario.